Golfing World presenter Anna Whiteley is always on the lookout for help sharpening up her game. So we sent her to Duran Golf Club in Florida to work with coach Sean Clements. Wow. Coach Clements' task to go back to basics on Anna's swing, starting with her short game. We're down here on the driving range with golf coach Sean Clement. And Sean, you're giving us some incredible short game tips already. And you're about to introduce us to your concept, Goldilocks. Yes. Tell us what this is all about. OK, so 67% of your shots inside of 100 yards, mm -hmm. right, is your short game, short yes. game and putting. So you, this is where you have a lot of partial shots. And many people struggle with partial shots because they end up decelerating and steering. So we talked about cutting a dandelion stem before. Yeah. I can cut through that dandelion stem gently, or I can cut through with a little more assertiveness. So when you're cutting through something, there is no deceleration. Yes, that's right. It can be very soft. You could land it right here a foot away. Mm -hmm. So the way it works is, and this is how the human machine works in so many different ways. We're going to give you two absolute references. Okay. And from those references, your brain is going to get a breadcrumb trail. Okay, right. it is it's not a keto trail. <laughs> <laughs> so let's say you wanted to land the ball at the basket. Yes. Show me a practice swing right next to this ball mm -hmm. that you feel would be way too soft. Too soft. Way too soft. Wow, I mean that. <laughs> right, so let me see you cut the grass using momentum, so you feel the weight of your arms and club, mm -hmm. and you're going to use momentum to cut the grass in that direction. So you're thinking that would be way too soft? Well, probably not. That. Good. <laughs> that is way too soft. Yeah. Perfect. So your brain knows for a fact that that's way too soft. Yeah. You yeah. now have a reference. Show me one that'd be way too strong. Okay. Uh, that would be way too strong. Awesome. <laughs> now let's do one in between. Show, show me one in between now okay. on a practice swing oh, yeah. still. Yeah. Uh, right. Uh -huh. Now, based on that, how far do you think that would have gone? Over that bucket. Over it? Yeah. So show me one now that would fit the, more of the bucket. Uh, awesome. I'm kind of liking that oh, one. Okay. So <laughs> now you're going to set up to the ball. Mm -hmm. You're going to see the stem that you're about to cut. So your eyes are on the grass between leading edge of the club and the ball. Yeah. Do you remember the, about, about the amount that you just did? I do, yeah. Let that amount of momentum cut through the stem in that direction. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. So you only went by about two yards. Yeah. How was contact? It felt great. It just bounced off. Yes. Yeah. And now you're, you're chipping with a pitching wedge. So granted, now if you did exactly the same amount of momentum with a lob wedge, let's see you do that. Okay. So you see a stem to cut. Yeah, I've got it. Hands forward, weight forward. Mm -hmm. Allow momentum to cut through the stem. There Ooh, it is. It's quite close. <laughs> you know, within a couple of inches. Yeah. So as soon as your brain receives um, a reference mm. that is absolute, it knows how to find its way. Yeah. It's, it's the greatest problem solving machine there is. I think that's probably one thing on the driving range I always forget to do is to actually pick a target and right. don't just stand there and aimlessly hit balls into an abyss of right. grass. Right. Yeah. So the target that you just mentioned is extremely important. Yeah. Without the target, your brain doesn't know how much to use or whatever. And you'll notice when we, when we choose targets later, you'll see that finding an intermediate point is extremely critical to the way your eyes work. So here we had a divot that was lined up toward that basket. And you mm -hmm. see that the way you were hitting your shots right over the basket was very easy. Yeah, yeah. So let's say you were throwing the club. Mm -hmm. So pretend this is your club. <laughs> pretend you're going to throw the club to the end of the deck, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so can you feel where you would let go? Uh, <laughs> yeah, about there. So you, were let, you actually let go right about here, right? Mm. So your brain would know when to let go. Why? Because you have a target. Because you have a target. So if yeah. I say just throw your club that way, well, then you're, you're, you know, it, it'd be very scattered. Yeah. But if I say throw the club over that basket at the end of the deck, now you have a very specific spot to send the club. Yes. 
So if you were to do it from the side here, imagine you were doing that in a, in a, in a golf swing and you were just letting the club go in that direction. Uh -huh. Go ahead and do that. Pretend you would be throwing the club in that direction. Over the basket, one. right? Don't let go though. <laughs> no. What's so it just throwing it? Yeah. Okay. So you, where was your mind uh, when you threw the club? I was trying to kind of think about throwing it at that ball. Just right. So your mind wasn't here. No, no, it wasn't. It was out actually. there. Yeah, it was out there. That's key. Ah. This can never be your target. Yeah. And that's where we went to the gr cutting the grass. When we're cutting through a dandelion stem, your brain sees continuity. Yeah. If you see a ball and you go for a ball, it's so easy to stop at the ball because the brain says, we're done. Yeah. Yeah. But if you're cutting through a dandelion stem in the direction you want the ball to go, there's a continuous motion there. Yeah. Makes sense. It's just okay. about change, as you say, changing your visuals, changing yeah. your focus, and and it just seems to kind of click. So if we were to take this farther now, let's say you wanted to do a, a, a pitch shot. If a chip shot wasn't enough. Yeah. So let's say we're going to chip it well past, just to the bottom of the slope here. Okay. Show me a chip swing. Yeah using momentum oh well, you have no problems getting there with that no I mean, that's gonna go miles okay yeah. <laughs> now as soon as notice right there you started allowing your wrists to hinge mm -hmm. when you get past a certain point right about here if I were to continue without hinging my wrist or without folding my arm I would start to feel a lot of strain in my body yeah so now my right arm's gonna fold and my wrists are gonna hinge. And you did that exactly, exactly correctly here. Okay. So as your right arm folds and your wrists hinge, well now, notice the weight of the club head starts to release the hands. Yeah. That's none of your business. Okay. You're, you're gonna let gravity do that for you. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna allow that action to cut through the stem in that direction. Yeah. But now that we have the hands activated, we're not gonna put the ball off the back foot anymore. Now you can place the ball closer to center, but just slightly back of center. Okay. Okay? Yeah. There you go. So we're still going to have a little more weight on the lead side. Mm -hmm. The hands are a little forward. Yeah. The, the reason being for that is that every instrument known to humanity, apart from a push broom, is designed handle first in mind. Of course. It's the same in yeah. hockey, tennis, you name it. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So now that we're activating the second pendulum in the swing, right? The pendulum number one is around that sternal notch that we talked about for chipping. Mm -hmm. You would use the same thing for putting. Mm -hmm. And pendulum number two would be where your wrists are. Okay. Okay. So you take it back like a chip swing and then your right arm folds, your wrist hinge. Yeah. And then you would get the release of that machete. Yeah, I see. So let me see yeah. you cut grass with the release cool. of that machete. Okay. Awesome. Something like so that. you feel that nice cut of grass? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, I definitely did. So, on a scale of one to ten, if ten was the most effort that you could produce that would split your rib, mm -hmm. what was the effort level on that? Oh, three. Good. That should be for your full swing. <laughs> oh, okay. So, what you just did there was a full swing. Right. So, show me a one. A one. Yeah. So notice when I said cut through the grass, before I said that you stopped here, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. And I said, well, you're cutting through the grass through with a grass. one. Notice you continued. Yeah. Perfect. Let's see thing. you cut through the stem of that dandelion over the basket with that one. Okay. Uh... Lovely. Lovely. Hear that, that was sound? with almost zero effort. Exactly. Yeah. You see how far that went? Yeah. That was yeah. about 100 yards. That was nice. So wonderful crisp contact so if you cut grass with the sole of the club the ball will always meet the club face yes so for any of your beginner friends that you bring to golf for the first time mm -hmm. all you have to do is show them how to cut grass with a golf club yeah. then put a couple of tees in the ground have them cut through the tees with the sole of the club and then put a ball in the tee and ask them to cut the tee again yeah they'll never miss easy very easy yeah okay so then it's just a matter of, well, how far do you want this to go? Mm -hmm. Goldilocks it, right? So let's say we want it to go half the distance you just did. Yeah. Over the bucket. Okay. Show me a practice swing that's way too soft. Okay. Uh, probably. Oh, that was a bit. So You're what, cutting... why did that happen? Well, question. Were you using momentum to cut the grass mm -hmm. in the direction of the basket? Yeah, I think I flopped down. So you didn't have the right focus. Yeah, yeah. So I say good shot. 
-hmm. That was a really well done move, <laughs> according to the focus you had. Yeah, true. So feel the weight of your arms cut through the grass toward the basket. Yeah. And good. that would have gone just over the, the front, correct? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, you know, the other one was way too strong. Mm -hmm. Show me something that's right in between those two. Okay. With, with the bowl. Sure. You see a stem to cut. Yep. You're getting ready to use the weight of your arms to cut through the stem. Yep. You have the amount of momentum in your mind. Yep. Let it cut through the stem. All right. Okay. So that would be a short chip. Uh huh. Show me another practice swing right next to the ball. So we're going to go, let's say, between here and the black flag in oh, distance. Right. Okay. Okay. A lot further. Oh, no, that doesn't So look great. did you use momentum? Mm, possibly not. Or did you shove? I shoved. You felt that, huh? I feel it, so, yeah. So there was a pushing action there. Yeah. Let momentum cut the grass toward the black flag. Nice. Yeah. So do you feel the distance that would have gone? Yeah, I think, yeah, it would have been somewhere approaching that black flag, I okay. think. Okay, so let's see. Uh, cut through the stem in that direction. Okay. With the same amount of momentum. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, Another nice. beautifully struck shot. If I could do that out on the course every time, I'd be very happy. So you're already pretty much an expert at cutting grass. Pretty much an expert. So if your focus is in place, you're going you're gonna to shine. The problem with when somebody's been practicing at hitting a ball for the longest time. Yeah. It's like, could you imagine you're, you're in the process of uh, training your dog mm -hmm. and you say, give the paw, give the paw, and a squirrel runs between the two of you. <laughs> Do you think that dog's going to listen? You're going to get distracted. Right. <laughs> yeah. So somebody's coming up to the ball and saying, okay, I'm going that way. Uh, what, did, uh, what did my instructor say again? I needed to do this, this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then all they see after that is be careful I don't miss the ball. Yeah. So the ball is the squirrel. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So when you default to the ball, everything, yeah. every, that's where think about think, the blade, the dandelion. Cutting through the stem. Yeah. With the amount of momentum you feel you need to land the ball where you want to land it. Okay. Brilliant. That's what's going to help your, all of your short game from chipping to pitching to flop shots. Yeah. All that good stuff. Yeah. All right. Amazing. I've never had anyone break it down quite like that before. It's really interesting. Well, you asked for simple. I know. <laughs> no, I loved it. Good. Thank you very much. I can't wait for the next tip. Fantastic. Thank you. Coming soon.